The Dayton Andrews Dodge pace truck pulls off. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. Super late models underway from Showtime. On the outside, Atwell with a good roll through the outside. He's door to door with McLeod through three. Sergi, oh, contact there. Atwell able to save it. Sergi running in the third spot. Oh, we're stacking up mid-pack and the chain reaction back here. Lots of damage to Daniel Keene's car. Here we go, the Dayton Andrews Dodge. This pace truck pulls back into the infield. The field in the hands of Devin McLeod. He fires and we're back underway. Lap number eight. McLeod on the outside. Atwell to the bottom. Here comes Sergi on the outside of Atwell for second. Sergi really liking that top line. He's going to move alongside Atwell here as McLeod still leads the way. Lap nine going on the board. Atwell playing into Sergi's hand right now as he's trying to get around to 51 of Atwell. A little contact there between the two, running for second off of turn number four. And here he goes. Sergi cleared a second on the outside of Atwell. Devin McLeod and Steve Doerr leading the way. Off turn number two, McLeod trying to clear Door. Door going to stick his nose down there in turn number three. And McLeod is clear. Sergi thinks better of it, but Door going to go to the inside of McLeod. Here comes Schofield as well. Door really using up the 21. And we have a new leader on lap number 19. Sergi still trying that outside line. He's going to try to get around Dustin Dunn. Dunn shuts the door. Sergi has to back out of it. Sergi going to use a little bumper there for that third spot. Atwell way up the track. He's got a problem in turn four. He's going to come to a stop. Door fires, and we're back underway. Lap number 27. Door still hanging tough on the outside. Schofield. Boy, and Dustin Dunn pops Anthony Sergi. George Gorham going to the inside of Michael Goddard. Side by side they are. Down to back straightaway for the fourth spot. Gorham on the bottom. Goddard to the top side. Contact in turn four. And around goes Dustin Dunn off the bumper of Anthony Cataldi. Caution coming out, lap number 35. Anthony Cataldi in the double zero gets into the back of the 59. Green flag back in the air, and we're underway. Lap 38, Sergi on the bottom. Just can't get that corner exit with a car to the outside of you. Oh, Goddard was thinking about three wide, and he said, yeah, it's too early for this. Well, these two are like magnets for the four spot. Jeff Schofield and... George Gorham can't seem to get away from one another. And look at this, a little, little tag. You're it for the lead. Michael Goddard is your leader. Steve Doerr going to put the bumper back to him. But Michael Goddard said, hey, I saw cross flags. It's go time. And he put the bumper to Doerr and takes the lead away. Schofield takes the peak for second. Can't make it happen off turn two. He'll tuck back into third. Has his eyes set on that second spot. He'll put the bumper to door. Schofield, not afraid to get aggressive. He sees that 37 getting smaller out of his windshield. He says, I got to get around this 10 car if I want to have any chance of catching the 37. Goddard scooting away from the field right now as we're on lap number 59. Side by side for second. Steve Doerr, Jeff Schofield. Trying to throw George Gorham in the mix. These two are running alongside each other, allowing Gorham to catch them. Dorr going to hold off Schofield for now. Here comes Dorr. And just can't quite get the job done, but Goddard not able to clear him. Here we go. And he is going to use him up. Now Rubin is racing, and we'll see if Goddard can return that favor once again to Dorr. Nasty able to clear Schofield. Schofield going to come back, though. Will he put the bumper to him for fourth? Yes, he does. Pretty hard shot as well. Boy, that heavy contact there between Gorham and Goddard. Gorham really using up that 37. And Dunn's got Cataldi all jacked up. Cataldi going to go straight into the infield. Or not the infield, the, um, the pits. Well, those two had gotten into it. I know at least once already. Tonight. Who wants 10K? We'll find out in 13 laps. Green flag back in the air. Great start for Door. Here comes Gorham. Look at Schofield trying to make it three wide off turn number two. George Gorham going to take the lead away from Steve Door. From 13th to 1st, 
with 12 to go. Can Steve Dorr get back to George Gorm? He does right there. Will it be enough to get alongside him? Nine laps to go. Dorr sends it on the bottom. He gets into Gorham. They make contact, heavy contact there. Dorr getting sideways off too. He gathers it up. Here comes Goddard. Throw Nassi in the mix. Side by side for fifth at Schofield and Allman. Five laps to go. George Gorham, Steve Dorr. Dorr tries the inside in one and two again. He sends it off into three. Will he get to the bumper of Gorham? Yes, he does. Here we go. Alongside him now, Gorham shuts the door to the bottom and turn one. They make heavy contact. Flat tire perhaps on to 10. He's going way up the track. Michael Goddard says, thank you very much. Tire indeed flat on to 10. The Dayton Andrews Dodge pulls into the infield. Three laps to go. Michael Goddard, Stephen Nassi, Gorham, Allman, Schofield. Here we go. Goddard sends it into turn one. We're three wide behind him. Allman getting used up. And around goes Gorham off of Schofield. Still green for now. Both cars sit parked on the back stretch, and there's your yellow. These two drivers got into it earlier. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go. Nassi and Goddard. How about Colin Allman in third? Nassie half a car in front of Goddard as they go off into turn number three. Goddard able to take the spot away from Nassie. Good run for Goddard. Here comes Ullman to second. But it might be too little too late for Ullman. He slips up. Goddard is smooth sailing now. Turn number four. Checkered flag. Michael Goddard wins the triple crown leg number one. Michael, buddy. Your car was on a rail there in the late stages. You had a green-white checkered. You were in the lead. The three next guys behind you were George Gorham, Stephen Nassie, and Jeff Schofield, perhaps three of the best and most aggressive super late mall drivers in the state, and you held them off. Out of all the wins you've had in your career thus far, where does this one rank? Oh, I don't have many, so this is definitely number one. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't thank my guys enough. And, uh, you know, we joked around with the old scheme about it being bad luck, so I switched it up. And... Um, you know, we were sitting P3 and the 3 and the 10 where they had great race cars as well. And I was I was thinking we were going to bring home a third. So sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and I'll uh, and I'll take it. We'll go back and keep working on it. We were just too tight tonight, but uh, you know, I can't complain sitting up here and uh, and racing with some of the best. You know, Nassie's one of the best drivers in the country, and uh, you know, I'm, I look up to him a lot, and uh, he's. He's been a, a supporter of mine, and, and he, for him to race me clean there, I know we, I, I fed him a door a little bit in one and two. Uh, I was just giving all I got to try and pull it off. So I can't, can't thank my dad, my grandpa, for supporting me and believing me. You know, uh, Bill Van Devender, Bubba, Will, um, Keith, Troy DeCare for believing in me and supporting me and uh, uh, opening up doors for me. And um, you know, National Roofing, Rocket Fabrication Suspension, FLF Race Cars, Exterior services and auto tree service and uh, and TC shocks and, and everybody that believes in me and supports me If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. All right, we'll ask you one more question I'm gonna let you go real quick. How does ten thousand dollars sound to you? It still ain't said in it just how we do in racing determines when I race next and you know This this means we're gonna be to do, do more racing So, uh, you know, we've had a lot of bad luck that's cost me time in the seat You know, I haven't really raced more than ten times in a year it's only my fifth win ever, so I'll, I'll take it. We'll keep building. We'll keep working. We'll, we'll be able to race some more with that money. All right, there you go. I got a problem. You drove my car last week, and I paid the tire bill, and you drive your dad's car and win $10,000. That's one way. Well, like you said, I should have picked the bottom. I didn't make that mistake this weekend. No, you darted the bottom. Uh, if he can win two more of the next three races, $10,000 bonus. What do you think about that? I think that means more racing, so I'm going to give it all I got. Hosen Hydraulic Street Stock, 750 to win, 40 laps, and we're green. Nikens on the bottom. Chris Zimmerman not going to waste any time as Brandon Love goes way up the track. Chris Zimmerman already to the lead on the first lap. Here comes Mason Love for second on the inside of Marty Nikens. They make contact off of turn number two. Love on the bottom. Nikens to the outside. Four and a half seconds, the difference from third to fourth. 
And Hayden Mowry sticks his nose underneath Roger Welch. And they make some contact. Chris Zimmerman, last week's winner, trying to hold off Mason Love. Love to the outside. Here comes the 55 of Mowry, trying to take third away from the 22 of Fitchner. Oh, and big trouble for the 22 of Fitchner. I believe his engine has just expired on that car. Mason Love trying to get something going on the outside, but here comes Hayden Mowry on bottom. Oh, and Mowry, big moment off the turn number four. He's able to gather it up. Chris Zimmerman still leads the way, but Mason Love is right on his tail. But Mason Love is in hot pursuit right now of Chris Zimmerman. 20 down, 20 to go, and here we go. A move to the inside for Love. Can't quite get it done that time, but Zimmerman gets into the wall. Zimmerman using up too much racetrack. He gets the wall. Here comes Mason Love on the bottom side. That lap will go to Love, and we have a new leader out in front. Love about two car lengths between him and Zimmerman. Catching up on the 56 of Eli Thompson. And Thompson going to get sideways in front of your leader. He'll go to the bottom side, let the top two go by. Oh, maybe. Almost got into your second place runner of Chris Zimmerman. And now here's where it really gets interesting if you're Love. You were able to lap one car by himself, but now you have three of them racing for position. Now you got Raymond Catterton and... Zach Perry, the 12 and the 07 side by side. Mason Love going to part the C's. Right through the middle and around goes the 12. One lap to go for Mason Love is now the four. Brandon Love is up in smoke in front of him. Will we be able to make it back to the flag? And it looks like it's going to be good for Mason Love. Checker flag. Mason Love wins the Hosen Hydraulic Street Stock 40 lap feature. Mason, a pretty good run for you tonight. Your car looked fast right off the gate. You trailed Chris Zimmerman there for a, quite a bit. You had a run on him underneath. He slipped up, got on the wall off turn two. You were able to capitalize off of that and take the lead away, ultimately win the race. Yeah, me and Chris, we have a uh, pretty good race going on just about every week. Uh, here lately, it seems like it's just me and him that are uh, the faster two cars, but um, it's always good and uh, fun to race with him. He's real clean. All right, well, it was a great showing for you. Any sponsors, friends, family you want to thank tonight to help you get here? Uh, there are so many people. Uh, LNL Fleet Maintenance, RML Race Cars, Moore's Petroleum. Uh, all, everybody that comes out and supports me, my girlfriend, with all the long nights and everything at the shop all the time. All right, well, congratulations on your feature win tonight. Mason Love, winner of the Hosen Hydraulic Street Stocks. Green flag is in the air. We are figure eight racing. Already beating and banging down into turn number one. The zero one of Thompson goes around. Off the bumper of Jared Meyer in the two. Three wide through the intersection. All sorts of beating, banging going on for that third position. Zero Marty Nikens taking the second from second from the 21 of Jacob Poirier. And Marty Nikens looking for the lead, and he's got it. Might have an issue with the two of Meyer. Nope, he's coming back going. Puts his bumper right to the 21. 21 goes around. Meyer, oh, he puts the bumper to him. Marty Nikens goes around. Puts the two of Jared Meyer to the lead. Got the hood up on the 75 of Trevor Applick up in oval number three. Two laps to go this time by for your leader, Jaron Meyer. If he can hold it together, it looks like he's got this race in the bag. There's a checkered flag in the air. The number two of Jared Meyer is going to be your winner tonight for the Ford figure eight. Bring it home in second will be the zero, Marty Nikens. Finishing third will be the 16 of J.R. Meyer. Fourth will be the 28 of Austin Dunham, and rounding out your top five will be the four of Charlie Williams. Yeah. 
There he is, climbing on the car. Your winner of tonight's Ford Figure 8 division, Jared Meyer. Congratulations tonight, Jared. You had a heck of a race there with Marty Nikens there about halfway through. Yeah, he actually owns a car, so I just kind of got in there, and uh, my bumper just hit him right in the wheel, and that's all it takes. All right, well, these Ford division cars sure put on a heck of a show tonight. <laughs> you got anyone you want to thank tonight, Jared? Uh, yeah, I think Marty Nikens. He owns them all. Uh, home late. Lawn care, he helps us out a lot, and my brother and everybody that helps us. All right, well, congratulations tonight, Jared, on your future win.